name's Emma. 10 tips to help you survive social distancing. Now, quick. A quick disclaimer. There we go. A quick disclaimer is that I don't know everybody's situation. So I don't know what the CDC's guidelines are for your area, but I'm just going off of what I'm able to do right now and what my state has recommended, though my state is a little behind, and it's more of my city, what my city has recommended. These are just suggestions to help you figure out what's gonna work best for you. It's not, you have to do this. So hopefully I can be helpful for you guys. Distance physically, not socially. Well, it is called social distancing. We have modern technology, so FaceTime a friend, call someone, see what they really need right now, and try and be helpful. I know FaceTiming's been really helpful for me, because while I still get to see my friends, we can't like hug each other or anything, but I can still see them, and like that's really nice. So. Something else that you can do is start a new group chat, or stay present in one that you're in. Make a schedule. I'm gonna talk about this more in some of my other steps, but creating a schedule and out your day. It doesn't have to be like every minute of every day, but it can be like at nine o'clock I'm gonna get up. Like whatever works best for you. I know that I have to schedule breaks from just sitting at a desk or I will go insane. Like if I'm doing homework from like one to three, maybe at two o'clock I will FaceTime a friend for 20 minutes. So it's little stuff like that that when you can schedule to make your day more personalized. That's why I'm not showing you guys my exact schedule because everybody's schedule should be different. But personally, wow, it's a brain empty. You don't have to work out and start sweating or anything to move your body mindfully because some people aren't in the right headspace to be working out right now and that is okay. One thing you can do is stretch, or you can put on some of your favorite music and just dance around your room a little bit. Get outside. It's actually good for our emotional and physical health to breathe in fresh air and be outside for a little while. So in the clips right now, I went on a walk yesterday with my camera. Just remember to follow the CDC's recommendations and keep distance from anybody you happen to come across. School time is school time. Thing I like to do is turn my phone on airplane mode and that way I don't get any texts from my friends I don't get any calls I don't get news and updates I just can focus on school if your school is still assigning work you can get that done maybe you're in some AP classes like me and they, you're doing the AP videos online I try and create a designated school time and space when I'm planning my schedule and then that space maybe it's just you make your bed and whatever your bed is made and you're sitting on it that's where you work. At my dad's house, I've been doing the making your bed and then using that as my desk space. And then at my mom's house, I took a really old desk that the last people who lived in this house left behind and I painted it and then I, my mom let me stick it in the corner of the living room. So that's like my workspace. I leave my laptop there, I put all my school stuff in that corner and I only do homework there. So that way when I sit down, I know I'm working. Sometimes I edit there too, but I guess that's kind of work. I don't know. <laughs> but whatever works best for your situation right now. No strict schedule. Schedule free time. Schedule time for Netflix or Disney Plus or Hulu or whatever it is you want to do. But schedule time to watch YouTube videos. And relax. Like, this is a global pandemic. We don't need to be productive 100% of the time. This doesn't have to be the time to better yourself or whatever. Like, chill. It's okay if you're stressed right now or you don't know how to handle the emotions you're feeling. Be creative. Find a creative outlet. It doesn't have to be something, you don't have to like master a new skill or whatever. It can be like in this clip right here. It doesn't have to be something expensive or difficult. Print out some coloring pages for goodness sake. Like just do something that you get to express yourself a little bit. Like. One thing that I really like doing is making YouTube videos, so thank you guys for being so supportive of that. You're gonna get tired of hearing me say that, but thank you. Read. Like, pick up a book. Just, this, that might seem a little foreign right now, because a lot of us are just scrolling through Instagram for hours on end, but pick up a book. My favorite book right now is The Da Vinci Code, which is so good, I got it. My mom gave it to me last week. And it's like a mystery with like 
historical fiction mixed in and like in present times and like oh it's so good. Also, reading books is a very good way to kill a few hours if you can get lost in it. Be kind to yourself. Don't expect yourself to self-teach yourself. I just said self like four times. But don't expect yourself to teach you seven hours of school Monday through Friday. That's unrealistic. Even if you are getting schoolwork from all of your classes, like give yourself a break. This is a hard time that we're all going through. We are going through something that will end up in history books. And your health is the most important thing. Your health is what you should be taking care of right now. Your physical health, your emotional health, your mental health. You can, if you're in the situation, to be able to help others. Like maybe reach out through a group chat and see if anybody needs a, a lending hand to just talk to someone. Maybe you have the funds to do it right now. Donate to an organization of some sort. Uh, if you can, and only if you can, I will have websites linked below where you can go donate. Do not, I repeat, do not feel guilty if you cannot do that right now. Focus on what you can control and just remember to breathe right now. Because I know sometimes it's hard to even think about the next step. But take the time and stay present in the moment and figure out what you need to do to best take care of yourself. I hope this video was helpful, or at the very least entertaining. Um, let me know if I forgot anything, or if you have any more tips you want to share, because I'd love to hear them. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. Bye!